Hey everybody, I'm a few minutes late today. Apologies for that. I had the biggest snafu just happen. My wife would be so proud of me because I usually get pretty flustered when uh, technology breaks down. But I had logged in through my Mac to Twitch to set up the new emojis. And then I went back and then I wasn't logged in here. So I logged in and then it wanted me to re-log off, log in, do another code, approve it, do all these things. This all happened in like the last three minutes. So I'm a little flustered. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for joining me, everybody. Viking, Slavin, Shirazman, Nim, Chimsky, Jose, Pervista, and of course, the infamous Jockey Cooper, the red in the house. So um, I have taken my Midnight Combo deck list and modified it quite a bit. We're going Asban, I think it's called. Um, yeah. So we've got a new emote for, uh, I don't even know if everybody can do that, Shiraz, or is it just people that sub? I'm not quite sure, but um, hiya. Anyway, we've got 21 lands. You don't want to miss a drop with this list. We're going to go over it here real quick. The first iteration of this design actually was all forest because I run the abundant growth, unbridled growth uh, for um, all the way through. So anyway, so yeah, uh, I was designing the emoji and I went with a propaganda symbol and I was like, well, wait, that's if somebody's not on, um, I like what is it called? Uh, the black background. Most people have white. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to really change the color much. Maybe I'll do that again. And I was trying to think of something iconic with the show and those opening graphics, you know, with me where I yell and the propaganda thing comes out, my face is all 2D. So that's kind of the one where it's kind of an, emo an emoji there. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so we've got uh, four Ash Barons. We've got, uh, I think, let's see, two, four, six, eight forests, I believe, eight plains and a swamp. One of my very favorite by Wang. Kuxiong, I think is how you pronounce it. Just beautiful artwork there. We've got four unbridled gross for draw, four abundant gross for draw, because we have a three Skyfisher engine here, which helps with Omen of the Dead, which gets back Skyfisher, which gets back Omen of the Dead, which gets back everything else. Um, or if you need to draw, you do this. Uh, we have three Soul Wardens. I did have Essence for a while there when I was leaning more on Forest, but we have the uh, Prismatic Strands package similar to a Bully strategy. So we're going with white creatures where we can. Ah, sorry, I'm just trying to get a little uh, detoxed here. I was, I was so flustered. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? All right, we have four benevolent bodyguards, two benevolent blessings, three sky fishers, all four communal of the gods, kind of the gas of the deck, uh, one oromancer, which usually goes and fetches this, which can encourage you to actually pitch it for the draw to help more ways to find presence of the gond, uh, midnight guard, and prismatic strands. So if you're new to the style, this is the only infinite combo, I believe, in popper. Midnight Guard, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, untap it, and you throw Presence of Gond on it by protecting it with this and this, and sometimes this, and you get the point. You get Arthritis really quick because the interface doesn't let you just right-click and say make 40 tokens if they submit, and uh, you go from there. Usually you can win. We don't really care about life gain because we can hit for infinite. We uh, don't really care about too much damage either um when things are going right this deck really 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 shines we got one gorilla shaman all four scattershot archers two standard bears uh three journey to nowhere's a cop green which is new and four fairy macabre the cop green is a concession i played in the popper classic tuesday event on tuesday and got third place the only times i lost were to hexproof and then in hexproof i think in the quarterfinals so anyway let me check up on the chat here uh, deluxe gone yeah <laughs> that's what i'm talking about so anyway we've got um there no there's a uh, no deck list uh everybody's been kind of like that's an arena thing uh, i haven't really really been able to i guess nobody's really held my hand on on like this is this is the thing you do and this is where you do it so we're gonna go from here and uh, create make sure we're on the right one booyah and do we have bouncy screen we do not okay so here we go off to the races and uh again sorry for being a few minutes late i usually try to be very prompt hmm I've been breezing 21 way up top. Xiao MTG. All righty. This is some Brute Squad. <laughs> yeah, we're we try to mix it up. I don't want to do, uh, it's, I guess, sometimes the critique. You know, uh, a lot of times people want to see the same thing over and over and over again. I don't get that. But we're going to keep this. We've got a pretty flexible mana base. A little slow rolling unless we throw our combo out with some protection. But it's the kind of hand that looks good but can, can get you in trouble quick. We don't really have any enchantment game here. So... I'll lead off with this. We're going to go cycle and go grab a, a swamp just on the off chance. Get our mana just right, and then we'll leave it to be there. Hey, yo, Popper Tim. Good to see you. Ooh, slivers. This will be quick either way. I mean, they get our combo online, or we'll be dead real quick. Well, let's do... Da -da -da -da. We'll do this. I don't really want to focus on that. We'll cycle this. We'll get a swamp, a swamp, and hope for the best. 
I'm not going to do too much blocking here, so that sidewinder is not too troublesome, but I just hope some muscle dew doesn't come up. Nichols in the house. Hexproof had a huge showing in the PCT this week. Beat me too. Ah, yeah. I, like I said, I, um, it was, they were very close games. I think I, I lost them both 1-2, and it was like kind of a prismatic next turn lock, and I had it, or I was, you know, I just needed to untap with my guard, but... Yeah, it was uh, one of the games they, they put all their enchantments on their standard bearer. So I was like, dope. <laughs> whoop, whoop, sub hype. Yeah. I know Toothmaker's got the, uh, is one of our uh, subscribers for the new, uh, what do you call? I'll show, I'll show if nobody ends up doing it. But so we've got a COP there. We don't have much else. They've seen us do this. This is turning into a pretty awkward opening here. Hmm. Well, uh, let's let's bring out a Skyfisher. We'll just return the swamp. Maybe we can deter, or at least go a little bit aggro. I'd really like to draw one of our eight cantrip effects of uh, you know the land enchanted persuasion, but it's not in the cards right now. Uh oh, there's a lord. I'm glad they're all white though. This is uh, proving nice. Here we go. So, all right, here we are. Yeah, that approval process for those. Um, emotes that are custom is pretty lengthy i was uh i was pretty surprised all right we'll be taking about half our life next turn so i'm just going to we're drawing pretty awkward here this isn't how i want the very first uh showing of this list to go i've played this all week long and like i said i've just been taking names and smashing faces with it almost entered a league but i actually had quite a bit of work this week i'm working uh for um a po online poker uh, event now and sometimes it rains most of the time it, there's nothing to do but but I actually had a lot of stuff to do on the day I was planning on doing that so there you have it uh oh man this will be a fast game that's each of these double poison baby sorry I'm late hey little fight I was a little late too you missed the top of the show the first two minutes I was uh uh, I, I had logged on to Twitch with like my my Mac and my PC was like, oh, you know, usually that's not a problem. But something about uploading the emotes through that one, I needed to do all this stuff at the last minute. It was, it was maddening. I was very frustrated. All right. All we can hope for here is a Midnight Guard. We're not going to get it. So we might as well. Uh, we've got double flankers out. Yeah, there's not much we can do here. Um, just try to win in the air and hope we just keep drawing... Um, Prismatic strands, which I don't think we're going to. We'll return this. We'll play this, and we'll attack like this. We're going to be forced to. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> actually we need a uh, prismatic strands just to stay alive here. I believe, unless they just have complete nothing in their hand. I have not faced slivers with this list yet, but I promise you, we'll take quite a few of them down today. Watch it be one of those days. It'll be hilarious. Hmm. So we've got Little Fight in his Simic Advanced uh, deck tech for our first break today. If you are a big-time old-school fan of the show, you probably haven't seen that in probably years. Um, goes over a neat Simic idea that we had many moons ago. I think way back in 2016, right? And stuff. Oh, and if you have any cool ideas, because there's two more emoji spots, I've designed the second one, which is more of a version of the first. Um, but I'm just looking for stuff you guys might want to see for the tier two and obviously tier three all right what's going to hurt us worse it's going to be white should we just take this i think we just take this kind of a reprieve from damage here except that next turn we're going to be in deep trouble all right we're going to be taking six and then a bunch more all right yeah i think we just take this why do i need such a long name plan to have a nice quarantine zoom dinner with friends tonight turns out the schedule for tomorrow so indian food and propaganda it is nice I'm a big fan of samosas myself. I have about two or three times a week I have those. I worked on the uh, Mira show on Disney, and I learned that word, and then I was in Trader Joe's, a market here, and they have these samosas, and they're the tastiest things ever. Throw them in the oven, and good times. All righty, we're going to do this. I'm going to pop it right away and hope that we just find our man. We don't. We find this. We go like this. I could probably bring that back, but I don't know what we're really getting to here. We're going to be taking too much damage. We'll rock like this. I'll draw here. Yeah, we lose. All right, off to game two. It was slivers. 
Very, uh, very clunky draw. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, usually maybe I shouldn't have kept it, but our mana was right. We had some aggro early on. You know, had that been like maybe Fey or something, we'd have plenty of air power to at least stay in it for quite a while, but it wasn't in the cards. So, COP green. This is a tough one. You bring this in, sometimes you only see white stuff coming at you. I think we're just going to lean on this strands package here. I'll lose uh, one omen. We don't really have to care too much about protect uh, protection suite here. So I'm going to lose uh, one of each of these, and I'm going to bring in all three journeys, which we can grab. I'm going to kind of keep our stuff online. Sometimes I like to... Uh, Pitch one gone in the sideboard, which you'll probably see me do today. But right now, I mean, we should have been able to get some life out of some of those creatures and such. But we'll see. We saw some red, so they might have flaring pain. But I don't think it's worth bringing in a macabre for that sort of tech. And a uh, standard bear, not not necessary in a go-wide list like this. So there it is, Popper Tim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think so, too, Viking Sleeven. Popper Tim with the, with the original. Once you get more subs, you get more emotes for tier one, too. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was kind of a funny one. Like, after you say something, it looks like I yelled it or something. Like, if you're like, you know, say something like, popper time, and then it just shows this angry bald dude. All right, let's go. I was trying to stay away from the uh, ego angle and me, me, me stuff, but I was the more I went with symbols, they were harder to read and stuff, and those were kind of ready-made, so I didn't know how fast they were going to go up on online. Yuck. We don't uh, have too much here against Slivers. I'm going to mulligan this. I mean, we've, our mana's right, and we're able to draw, and we can go get it back, and I can get that back, but, you know, Slivers explodes pretty fast, so I'm going to mulligan this. I'm going to look for... All right, we'll keep this. I've got two lands. I don't really need three of these. I'll get rid of that. Done. I always want to favor the Abundant Growth because it, it sticks around. We've got an early draw, and we've got early life gain in the Soul Warden. Might be able to stick around against a deck like Slivers. But yeah, let me know in the chat, at Propaganda Me, if you uh, got a cool idea for a, a uh, emoji moving forward. Something I might have missed. Yeah, that was a fun little uh, fun little outing there. All right, let's, um, hmm, I guess we could do that to that. Or we could rock like that. Let me, let me just bring out the life gainer. I'll play with the uh, Skyfisher next turn. I'll just bring this online, draw a card, and there we go. I might have to grab the uh, Sliver dude outside of a Lord, uh, or I mean over a, uh, I don't know, well, maybe a Lord. <laughs> it's always tough. All right, we're going to gain life. It's just that gaining life's nice, but if he uh, drops multiple Virulent Slivers down, we're going to be in trouble very quickly. Okay, here we are, and here we go. All right. These guys are in the house. We're gonna we're gonna lean on the Skyfisher first. We'll return a abundant growth. We'll draw a card later. For right now, we're gonna play a bodyguard and hold down the fort. Hopefully, It'd be nice to see part of our combo. I think the Mulligan was a good good move. Super Pooper twenty three. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, whenever I look at the stats for the show, it's always like you know. Obviously, when it starts up, it's a little slow to go on. And, um, you know, at about the 40 or 50 mark is usually when we hit our, our most viewers. So I probably shouldn't fret too much about the whole, uh, what do you call, uh, showing up about two minutes late today. But apologies nonetheless. All right. I think I want to take out that other Lord. Um, being that it's, uh, first I'm going to do this. I, if we pull a COP, I want to be able to uh, get the most out of it. All right. Well, that helps a bit. Let me get that Lord offline. We'll go like this. Call that. And I don't think it's worth attacking here. I'm going to hold back. Hopefully we can stultify their attack a bit and uh, green creatures keep coming and we can maybe get a uh, prismatic strands online. Let's see what goodies are in store for us. A bunch of white things. Oh, that's frustrating. Standard bearer. That could be a problem, but the, it's pretty easy to solve. You just throw throw this on there, standard bearer, calling green, and then you're gone. Works. It's kind of a, a miss uh, sideboarding, I think people do. Usually it might be the correct call, but against this list, it's kind of got some built-in answers, so... All right, there's another lord. Good lord. 
I gotta make a deck called Good Lord. That'd be funny. Sinew Sliver. There we are. Out oh, winding ways out. So we got two two card knowledge there. Here we are. Okay. Well, this is uh, hmm. Tempted to throw this Gond on a creature to just start getting blockers, but the second I do that is when we draw Gond. So I'm gonna uh, rock like this with the Sky Fisher. We're just gonna draw some cards here and keep trying to hold the ground for it as we gain some life. We'll return this. We'll play it again. Go like this. Draw a card. And, well, we might get something next turn. Uh, I think I still stay back here. Yep. It's not worth two damage to just get ransacked, especially with flanking going online next turn. So, hey, Deluxe says Rocksteady15. I've been trying to catch your show. Not sure of your times. Oh, it's always the same, my friends. Saturdays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today was Saturday at about 9.02 Pacific Standard Time. I try to be very prompt, but I'd say uh, one one or two screw-ups in a five-year history isn't too bad, considering we're usually on pretty regularly. We might be going camping in a few weeks, so I might miss one weekend, but I'll let everybody know via our social media and Facebook and such. Okay. Well, we can take out a Lord here. That's pretty good news. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, or should we take out the poison? Let's take out the Lord. Take out the Lord. Take out the Lord. Up, up. We don't take nothing, and we get to save some stuff here. Oh, we don't take out a Lord. Oh, my dummy, and I forgot. But we don't lose one either. Uh, we'll save this to here. We'll say white. I forgot about flanking. Flanking's one of those things, boy. It's it's way in the past of magic, and God, it causes some errors. At least we didn't lose anybody there, but almost. So we're going to have to pull that Benevolent Blessing on their standard bearer if we draw anything of worth. But I think the great play here is commune into a uh, prismatic into the yard. All right, so we have this online. We have enough goods. If I draw, we really needed to hit a land drop there. I'm going to play him. Bring him down. Caught that. Normally we could win next turn, but we're in a big problem with that standard bearer and not enough mana. We have the answer for the standard bearer. We throw a benevolent blessing on it, calling green, but. Hey. Right now, I'm just going to treat those Skyfishers as just food. Hmm. Slipping on that flanking is old school version of knowing how weathered works. Yep, that is true. Flanking's even like more sneaky because you, I mean, I, you could argue it says it right there in blue, but you just, uh, I guess you lose the forest for the trees is the saying, right? Yeah, it's a good one. I want a counter happy emote. <laughs> what that look like? That's the thing. I got to be careful of. Uh, it's got to be like my images because Twitch is pretty hardcore about that. They they investigated for like five days and then it was like, well, it's pretty hard to uh, for somebody to say that that's not my face. So that's kind of why I went went with that one. Hard to um, associate. What would it be? Um, a counter spell without like a blue mana symbol or the spell. All right. Yikes. Provoke. Yeah, we're losing this one, guys. They've got our number, and we're just a couple turns behind here. Don't you worry. We'll win plenty today. Fitting for an outing, though. It's like first one out. It's like, I never see slivers. Here it is, and we're getting throttled by it. Booyah. Yeah, there goes our combo. We need to, like, commune into a prismatic just to just to survive. I'm not even quite sure. This is when, you, when you're like, you feel like a fool because it's not very clear. Like they used to have transparent arrows when, when the provoke triggers would happen where you, you have to block here, you have to block there. So I will block. And so if you just click on your guy, it shows you which one you have to block, which is a little more elegant than they used to be, but we're losing our whole team here. Bonk. It's a nice one-sided wrath of God. Thanks to flanking. Yeah, his, his avatar is the orangutan. And down goes our team. Splat! And there's that. Well, let's try to at least salvage a turn, maybe. We have enough life. Can we get 
Uh, I wish that could, you could choose lions sometimes with a scenario like this, right? Good news, we're going to be throwing that in. Bad news, um, well, I guess it could have been a lot worse than that. We don't have a white creature out is the bad news. So we'll put an abundant growth on this. We have strands, but we don't have a white creature. We have enough life to probably withstand an attack, but this uh, this poison dude's a problem. Come on, land. I don't mind the bodyguard there. Yeah. Who <laughs> might be able to... <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Ah, need to dust. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Cooper the Red. Thank you, my friend. All right. I'm so tickled. I still, I've watched that horse race, the popper horse race. If, if you don't know what that is, just uh, maybe one of our mods can can throw up the link to the uh, first ever, even though it's the 16th annual, uh, popper derby. I've watched that like probably every other day this week. I just, I'm... Um, <laughs> just so happy the way that turned out with my buddy's read and the energy and everything. I loved it. Okay, are we dead? Oh, we're dead next turn for sure. I think we're dead on poison here. Let's see. How much poison? I made my very first commander deck uh, the last few days. I'm trying to appease my boy. Yeah, if we do this, we're still going to take six, nine. Interesting. We could do nine on that. The problem being, we're going to, uh, well, at least try it. <laughs> I can tap it in response before I have to block with it. That'll be fun. Too bad I didn't have multiple prismatic in there. I could, or what, raise the alarm or activate it at instant speed. My commander's that infect, it's like the, uh, it's gosh, what is it? The it's like every every turn you proliferate. It's a it's a four mana, but it's like green, white, blue, black. And I've noted a new strategy. I'm I'm gonna be going a little bit more fixing mana and using my commander in a pinch because I've noticed a lot of the commanders cost a lot more than that. And this one uh, this one's pretty cool. All right. Whoa! Holy cow! Atlantius, thank you for that. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I'm seeing they gifted a total of five in the channel. Alrighty. I better pay attention here. All right. So down comes the other lord. We're missed. Pum, pum, pum. Let's see, let's see. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, well I'm not I'm not even sure what's going on. I'm so new to the, the emoji thing here. Sorry, but thank you. I just from what I gather, it looks like I'm we're seeing subs from other things, but that's all good too. Okay, well, we're just kind of dead here. We have to call red. Uh, what's provoking us? The red. Alrighty. So I want to. Um, I guess I block with that. And well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do a prismatic right now. See if I can save him. I doubt I can, because then I can't block him, and then we're dead either way. So that's kind of dumb. Let's see. Eight. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I guess we'll call green. We had a little bit more life, might be able to pull this off. Of course, we would need five mana to do that, throw the blessing on their uh, standard bearer, but we're dead before the ship even sank here. Ah. It's a nice way to keep Midnight Guard out of trouble, but doesn't help when you're almost dead. But thank you for that, for the subs and all the goods. I vastly appreciate I still don't even know how that works. I'm so used to the buy me a coffee engine, which we still got going. Probably the most direct way to support, but we're just going to run right into the next round here, guys. Now, to my credit, I was a little bit flustered. We had the little technical issues early on, and I am advertising that we're on, so maybe maybe we're ghosted. It wouldn't really matter with slivers, right? <laughs> it's like they either 
turn things sideways or they don't. So, but we start off with an LL regardless. Let's see if we can keep rolling through here. But thank you so much. Played Magic and uh, Atlantis TV. All right. Magugas. Manugas. I figured it's, you know, honor system if somebody wants to snipe, whatever. But uh, I just kind of want to try to let people know that they're on. They might, you know, I think that sometimes we get at rage quits because of that. And uh, it might might be a bit, bit of the issue. This is a weird hand. I'm going to throw it back. We... we We've got an okay engine here and that, but then we have to throw it back, and if we don't hit another one, we'll be... Uh, I'm going to mulligan that. Come on, show some goods. All right, we'll keep this. Atlantia subbed, and then gifted, meaning paid for five other random people. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense then. I was just like, okay, I don't know if... I, <laughs> it just seemed like a, a uh, avalanche of stuff going on, but I vastly appreciate that. Thank you, my friends. All right, we are going to keep this. i got to focus here. Uh, we probably don't need this. Watch, we it's up against Burn or Stompy or something. We will need that. I want to just get my life online, and then we'll uh, throw the abundant growth there. So, wow, Popper Tim, that's pretty cool. Atlantius, very nice. Yeah, I feel like a fool for not doing that literally years ago. I think we were qualified forever, but I just thought there would be more shenanigans. All right, not the card. The actual verb. Here we go. Woo woo. Dover. Yeah, as far as commander goes, I'm always shocked that they haven't changed the rules around. It's like everybody else, you know, it's still 10 in fact. It's like, how's that fair? So I'm all on board with that. And I was like, well, I can, I'll do that. Because I've always liked the singleton format. Little Fight and I used to play uh, Rainbow Stairwell for you old timers out there, which is where you have, you know, one blue drop, one green drop, one white drop, one, you get the idea. And then you have, it's singleton. And then you have, you know, a two mana, blue, white, green, and from there on out, and you, you build your deck. And it's a, they're fascinating lists. A lot of powerful stuff, and you never see the same thing twice. And very cool times. I really need to get our, uh, combo online here. I think I'm going to lean on the one drops just being that I don't really mind a hard counter with that. I'm going to just really alleviate the um, mana screw here. Okay, that helps. And get out a uh, a man so that we can be a little protected here out of s spell stutter sprite time bait, right? At least we've got a little combo protection here. So that commune will dig up some goods. I did run, um, what was it? Um, Oromancer and the Pilgrim for a while, but I was noticing that a lot of times I'm able to get back my enchantments and then the omen can get back the creatures. So it's a pretty nice little sneaky engine that I got going in there. So we're going to attack here. I don't really value the Warden in this matchup, at least as much as a uh, Delver there, and we can protect it if we need to. As long as Sledgehammer, Window Cyber Truck has my money <laughs> already. Anyone good at building mana bases? I got a brew, but the mana is killing me. Best I've ever met is Methonical. Don't know. Uh, oh, Fire Ice. Okay, so we're up against UR Delver, it looks like. And I think he has a YouTube uh, video on how to use one of the uh, mana calculators that he leans on for the uh, aforementioned name. He is named Methonical, after all. Rainbow Stairwell says, Papa Tim, I remember that. Birthing Pod would be strong. We are looking at a few things here. Now, this is interesting. So I want to bait out a sprite. So I'm going to play, um, you know what? I'd, I'd rather this just be, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. I'm going to do this first. Come on, sprite, come out and play. Nope, all right. Well, then we'll play this. And we'll do this. Hard counter? Maybe not. Okay, we have Omen, and we've got this. Now, if we grab Oromance, we can get back the Omen. Skyfisher brings back the Omen, comes back and st such. So, they, you know what? It might be the better call to grab the Omen here and let the guard go. It's one counter, and we're out of the woods there. I'll grab the guard. Let's attack. And we're probably going to... 
lose at least one of our dudes to fire ice. We do have the protection suite. It'd be nice if we had a discard effect. I considered Wild Mongrel. I would not consider Patrol Hound as a uh, discard outlet, but some interesting ins and outs of the deck here. Our uh, Soul Sisters are keeping us in this. As the Firebrand Archer goes online, that's a bit frustrating. All right, our combo is online. Um, I'm going to take a chance here. We're going to rock like this. We have the bodyguard. We have the technology. I will attack with both the wardens. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like some sort of counter burn. I know he's got fire ice. We've got to kind of ignore pretty much anything they do to our sisters since we only have the bodyguard here. If we had Prismatic in the yard, be a little bit more uh, reckless with our protection suite, but excuse me. Yeah. Any football fans out there? Who you got tomorrow in the big game here in the States? Super Bowl tomorrow. You know, in the promo world, you can never use that logo or even say it unless it's like day of or you're working for them. Always strange. All right. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to take that bait. I, I assume that they're waiting on like a, you know, a mountain drop and then they do that. The benefit of the bodyguard is that you can't really counter it once it's out. Creature-based counters are pretty nice, like Fairy Macabre and Bodyguard. So we'll let that go. We'll try to play patiently here. Superb Owl Party, says Dreamer Stingo. KC? Yeah, it's pretty hard to go against KC. However, I, I know their offensive line is like pretty much just in tatters. There's a bunch of people out, and they've all practiced each other's positions. And so um, I think Mahomes is going to – he always plays lights out, but he's going to have to really play lights out to – Pull that down. All right, so we're going to just go for our combo here, and we might just win. Okay, looks like. Now, when I'm up against a deck that can deal with things, I'm going to go a little crazy here. We could still see, what do you call, um, Fiery Cannonade. They might have, have that. I doubt it with their creatures. <clears throat> and when you do have a bodyguard out, it's are we going to get a submission here? Are they going to save my wrist from many a clicks? Be nice if we had. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, good. There's one where it worked, right? You saw that against a list that's pretty good at pinging things around. I don't believe this build uh, leans on scatter, I mean, uh, um, spellstead or sprites. So, I don't think our scattershot archer is going to do too much work here. I think we're kind of pre built here. Yeah, I kind of like the way we're built here. Um, I might want to bring in one journey, I'll lose a gond. And um, let me do two journeys. I'll lose a strands and a gond, and we'll go from there. Against a deck like this, you know, calling red or you know having red here and then here, especially here, it can it can really shut the door quick because the majority of their answers are going to be red based. So, run it back, says Nichols. All righty, all righty, all righty. Doop, here we go. Yeah, that's the that's the big question mark there. Uh, Atlantius is the uh, the offensive line on KC. It's hard to bet against Brady. Wouldn't that be so storybook though if he does it? I I don't really have a horse in the race. I the talent is kind of obvious on both sides, but all right, we've got part of our combo. We can go get some stuff and we can search. I kind of like this hand. A little little clunky early on, but we'll keep it. They haven't really shown us too much fireworks out of the gates, so. I believe the right play here is just to cycle the barons for a plane and pass. Now it's changed. I think we're just going to enchant here. We'll go like this, get this out while we can, and get a free card out of it, since we drew the plane. Toothmaker in the house. Lightning Colt is my horse in the race. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about the Popper Derby for Scattershot. Yeah, I don't think they do, Dreamer Stingo, in a, in a build that kind of runs on more uh, instant answers. I think they're going to lean more on um, negate and counter spells and uh, things that go bump in the night. Not the card, but like, you know, shooting things out of the sky and such. So, yeah. 
What's cool about this is our Omen of the Dead can get back our bodyguard ad nauseum. Hey, right. Here we are. Hmm. Oh. Let me play this dude. I'll do this. Since we don't really need our swamp, we'll go grab forest. Uh, did we play land? We did. <laughs> I'm a dummy. It's always good to check. Try. Digital try? Nope. All right. Cool. Okay. And it flips showing preordain, which we will we will show. All right. Not going to lie. It was a weird week. I so, uh, got so used to streaming all the time last week. But my prediction was true. Our YouTube videos weren't like, like, you know, usually we're like two and a half K sometimes after just a week. And now they're all like at around 700. And if you add it up, it ends up being like what the watch time is usually for one. So that yeah, was a, a little bit like, aha. Okay, here we are. We have that. Alrighty. Let's do this. We have a presence already. Not the best draw. I think I'll grab presence. Maybe we can get a, a hard counter out of them and they think that we're fishing dead when we won't be. But it's a bit clunky. I'm going to rock like that. Um... Uh, I'll draw this, put it on forest since we've already got one enchanted. Draw another one. At least we'll have some air power and some defense next turn. The Omen of the Dead's a nice little trick with Skyfisher. We can just keep getting it back, and maybe that'll be a thing. Popper Tim. <laughs> Oops, facing the other way. <laughs> yeah, you know, Shirazamon brought that up. He's like, you might want to flip that. I'm like, well, it's how it is in the show. But I figured I could be yelling after the phrase. Who knows? <laughs> I've never seen so much of my head before. Thank you very much for your support, though, all of you out in the, either the coffee family or the uh, prime family. Good times. Oops, let me dismiss this. All right, what do we got here? He's going after that. All right, it's gone. This will be a lot more competitive game. It's got the alchemist online, and we're taking, how about for a turn, which is fire blast map. Mm -hmm. Atlantius with the super support. Much appreciated. Well, we've got gone for days. Even though we took one out, we drew all three of them. Let's go like this. Tempted here to maybe use the abundant growth to just draw a card. Okay. I could flash in. Let me do this. Let me flash in Omen of the Dead. Getting back bodyguard. And then I'll return Omen of the Dead. How's that? Yeehaw. All right. And then we'll play bodyguard. Ooh, why do I need such a long name? Thank you, Nimchimsky. Dum dum. Give me gum gum. <laughs> How do I take my coffee? Uh, I'm, I'm very uh, mono black control about my coffee. It's just black. Oftentimes I'll throw an ice cube in it because I don't really like uh, things to be very cold or very hot. I like lukewarm everything. So, ooh, he just wants that bodyguard dead. All right. Well, we're taking one. We're taking two. But to be honest, sometimes I just make the coffee a little bit strong and then I water it down so that it comes to about room temperature. Like I said, that's why I'm a good match for my wife. She's normal. She likes coffee to be fresh and sodas too. I like flat soda and cold coffee. So maybe I was dropped as a child. I don't know. <laughs> Pro play with the Omen. Omen's so fun. I really underestimated this card. I knew it was good when it came out, but now when I started seeing it with Skyfisher, I'm just like, holy cow, this is nuts. Ah, I wish they were going for our head a little bit there and we could at least get that insect out of the sky, but we might not have enough to do much here, folks. We're going to be down to four. <laughs> Flat soda for days. All right. Let's get rid of the troublemaker. Ah, what to call here? I'm going to get rid of the alchemist. All right. Haven't seen any counter magic here. A bit scary. All right, here we go. Oh, we can't get back... Um, Mr. Skyfish. Mr. Skyfisher. 
Please come out and play. We'll get back the bodyguard so we can at least do something this turn. We'll turn on the bodyguard. If we draw into a Gond, we might be able to pull this out, but looks like we're going to be going to a game three if this keeps up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's a nostalgia thing, Nichols. Um, I grew up... Uh, oh, yeah, we're dead. We don't have uh, strands in the yard. Nope. Okay. Um, I had some really formative years in Redding, California in the summertime, spending the whole summer up there. And uh, uh, just, you know, always being the youngest and the, the only kid around. I My brothers are a lot older than me. And then uh, in that scenario, I was always the youngest too. And stuff was just left out. So I was just kind of a scavenger. <laughs> just got used to the taste and good memories. And I think that's probably why. Not to get Pavlovian about it, but all right. We lost that one. Let's go. I think the journey is a good call here. So much so, I think I want to fit in that last one. Standard bearer, I don't want to really uh, encourage... Too many shenanigans going on. And the prismatic just held in our hand there. That was a little little maddening. I think we'll lose one unbridled here and go from here. Whoop! Off we go. So yeah, we're playing a journey to I mean <laughs> yeah, we are playing Journey to Nowhere, but we're playing a presence of gone combo today, Midnight Guard. When uh, the challenges first started, speaking of Methonical, he took my then Rally Gond list, which was one of the first ones that I made that got a lot of tournament use before Tron really became a problem for it. That's the only reason Rally Gond really went away. But that used all three colors. I was trying to simplify this. Yes, I'm running three colors, but I only need the black very late. All right, here we go. Well, we like everything about this hand except for the mana. We've got our combo and nothing to do with it. So we mulligan this. Out of sheer discipline. I guess we keep this. Throw back. I'll throw back a forest. Going to lean on uh, planes here a little bit more than usual. Let's get our dude online here. Maybe we can start tipping the balance here. We can do a double abundant play next turn. Alrighty. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday Propaganda. If you're new to the show, we are here every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 90% of the time. Actually, it's probably a little bit more than that. All right, let's do this. Start getting our mana just right. Drawing two cards. We can do everything. Oh, I think the right call here is even more so than the Skyfisher returning an abundant growth is to try to get Prismatic in the yard via commune with the gods and find parts of our combo. Depending. All righty. I guess that got very obvious. Let's do this. Yeah, let me do this, and we'll use these here. Come on. What do we got? We got an omen. That's pretty cool. We got a journey. I really like journey. I'm going to take journey. Can't do that. Might as well play this, put it on this, and we'll just trip it because I'm greedy like that. I love this concept, says P.T. Bobby. All right, there's one of our things. Our things. Boy, talk about technical jargon, huh? Tune in, kids. He might learn a one-syllable word. All right. Hmm. I had samosas for breakfast, speaking of Indian food. All right. Down he goes. Mm. And I saw one of my favorite movies. And sometimes we talk about those. I'm not going to recommend this one because it might be a bit slow for some, but I really like it. Uh, it's with Russell Crowe, and it's called Master and Commander, Far Side of the World. I've seen it like three times. and Every time I turn it on, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll peruse this a little bit, and it always ends up just taking up my day. It's like a two-and-a-half-hour masterpiece. I just love that movie. It's almost like they just hit a film crew back in the day. Uh, no, I don't have any Blight Priests in this list. The black is only there for uh, the Omen. All right, it is time to eviscerate the board. I'm just going to get greedy here, and we're going to take out the teams. First this. All right. And I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to take out the Delver right now. Hop. How you like that? Shut down the synergy, folks. We'll play the Skyfisher, returning the growth if we don't get anything better. I've seen Jojo Rabbit. That was pretty darn good. Yeah, it's, it's a... Definitely one you want to see. Yep, 
Yeah, I was surprised too because I've been really into that WandaVision on Disney, which is just getting crazy dark. I love it. I'm not going to spoil it, but the guy that plays Vision was the doctor on the ship of Master and Commander. Maybe that's why the algorithm showed it to me or something. I'm, I'm not sure. All right, well, we've got in uh, our bodyguard, well, well suited to the task. I kind of want to wait till I've got back up here. I'm going to go like this. We're going to bring out the Sky Fisher. We can always return a journey and give him back Dover if we're in a pinch. But for right now, I'm going to bring back our little draw engine here. We're going to play green. We'll throw it on here. And go from there. Give us something good here. Hey, can't get much better than that. All right. Only thing better is if we had like Prismatic in the yard here. But with only red, one red source up and they're probably aching to get a creature online or find one, I think we might be all right. Oh, Pony back <laughs> Brigade. Very nice. Give it a go, Popper Tim. That sounds intriguing. There's the window we needed, folks. Step right up. And I think we just play that. Yeah, we'll just play it. This mana is incredibly unselfish. There's nothing that comes into play tapped. I don't even have a Karoo land. I've got Ash Barons for this. If I do have like a uh, Benevolent Blessing here, obviously that's the play. But for right now, we're just going to come on over for two and try to win next turn. They could have a Vapor Snag, Snap. That sort of thing would be synergistic with the uh, Alchemist strategy. And follow it up with some Burn. Why we really like to have Prismatic in the yard, but that was in our hand last game. Hey, Ken Barb, thank you for that, my friend. Subsidy. Here we go. Uh oh, the old counter spell waiting to walk into here. Well, this helps. Let's try this, folks. We'll play Omen of the Dead as a sorcery. Even though it has flash, we'll see what this brings up. Might as well get more protection. Yeah, yeah. One of those. Boss. That tells you. We haven't seen any counter magic here. Vapor snag. That's what I was a little afraid of here. Vapor snag. What do you call here, huh? He's returning it. I said we just let him return it, right? I mean, if I call anything, it's got instants. We're kind of screwed that way anyway. I'm just going to let it come back. Imagine they're going to have bolts and such, so. And this goes. Yeah. Rather just recast it have it again. If I can get Skyfisher back, I can bring up Omen. I can crack the Omen. That's an option too, to see what's in our future. For right now, we got to let this guy go. Yeah, I think we crack the Omen here. Make sure that we don't draw dead. We don't really need the bodyguard uh, to attack, meaning that they've got a 0-3 wall there. So I'm actually going to do it right now. Let's go see what we can see. Well, double commune's pretty nice. But don't need two of them. We'll say bottom. I think this will find us everything from a prismatic throwing in the yard to uh, another guard. So we'll throw this on the top. That's a pretty good draw as we attack here. This is getting pretty competitive. We're going to be in the single digits here really quick. What is this new devilry? Yikes. Really want more uh, benevolent blessings in this build, but you know what? They've got the, they're not making the mistake of leaning on one color for all their removal purposes. So kudos to them. We've had the combo last, or first game, lost last game, and we've got a nail biter here, folks. Oh, so good morning. Back at you, Croupy. We're playing uh, Rally, I mean, not Rally Gone. This is just um, the Midnight Combo with uh, Midnight Guard in Presence of the Gone, but more of an Asban perspective. We've got Omen, Skyfisher Engine, Draw, Draw, Get Back This, um, Auromancer Gets Back Omen. You know, have, have some fun. Here we go. 
in the house is go from here pour this out here and flat soda doesn't have so much carbonation either so oh there's still a little bit darn it i opened this at about six this morning so it's not flat enough for me darn bubbles who has bubbles in their food show me another mammal that likes that i guess maybe dolphins That's quite a bit of foam. I'm getting a little worried here, depending on what's in the hand. All right, let's go like this. We'll commune first. All right, well, we've got that. It's tempting against this to bring out this. But let's just try to win here. Might walk into a counter spell. That would really suck. I wish we had a we had uncovered a, a prismatic there. That's kind of frustrating. Kind of nothing. It is. At this stage, I think it's better to just hold back. Being at 14 is nothing. If that Delver flips, that's a big chunk. Being that uh, we're going to be at seven, that'll make it four. <clears throat> a couple activations, and we're dead. We're dead meat. <clears throat> All right. So we're just going to leave it go. Is that a word? I mean a phrase? I know it's a word. It's two words. I'm getting nervous. Oh no, I'm getting minced. They're playing that the right way. Lots of cantrips. Keep out of the... No lightning bolt, no lightning bolt, no lightning bolt. We're already at six. Okay. Come on, land, land, land. Draw bad. Wow, a little bit of coffee with Coke Zero is pretty good. I'm grossing out the chat. I apologize. Me and my cold coffee and flat soda. Now I'm combining the two. Leave it go, says Koopa the Red. I've never seen a, the music note emoji. Yeah, two damage is not worth what looks to be like our life. I give it to our opponent here. I feel like I'm against Patrick Mahomes and he's got two minutes left and they're up by three still. <laughs> That's what this is feeling like. All right, it flips, showing Spell Pierce, which we can pay for. That bodes a little well for us. So does that. So we know there's only one other spell in their hand, which we'll be able to pay for. Okay, I'm liking this. We'll trade with the Skyfish. Any day of the week here. Boop. And I think we win. Spell Pierce, we can pay too. Oh, that's the joke. Sorry. You gotta forgive me. Sometimes I'm a little slow on the uptake, being that I'm playing a very dense strategy game and uh, being a narrator and all these other things. So we're just gonna play this. We're gonna play two generic in this, and we're gonna throw this on here. And I think we might still lose. Double activation. We're, we're not out of it yet. Okay. We'll be at four. Yeah, we'll be dead if that Delver flips. That'll be mega frustrating. I'll pay the two here. Yes. Down he goes. Man, if this was a Soul Sister, I'd be fine, but we had to kind of try to find our combo there, so always yield. And I'll just show this off in case that Delver flips, we're dead. We might be dead regardless. Does he have... Yeah, he has got Firebolt, so we're in a really tight spot here. Uh, he has to just draw a land, because if that thing flips, or... you know, No, no, no. If it's a land, we're still dead, because then he gets a double activation out of the Firebolt, and we don't have one of our many uh, Prismatic. So I'm just going to do this ten times to just show you guys what it is if you're new to uh, the combo, but we're probably dead here. Yeah. Here we go. Speaking of magic, I've been bringing Penn and Teller videos this week. Those two are legends. Yes. Yeah, I saw one of their shows in Vegas a while back. Yep, oh, yep, we're dead. What we needed them to draw there was like another spell pierce. Something that they just can't activate. But yeah, we'll go to two here and then he fire blasts us. But we had him next turn, but very surprising result. I, I honestly thought we'd go at least 4-1 with this the way it's been playing this week. So make no mistake. 
we'll win a few, but so far the combo's only worked once as we lick our wounds and the Thermal Alchemist's searing spice gets us. No, I don't have that one ready. All right, guys, we're going to roll to a commercial. This is a little fight with a Simic Advanced Tech from a long ago. Enjoy. I'll be back in a few. Please don't go anywhere. Whoop. Fellow Spellslingers, welcome to Rogue's Corner. We have been getting transmissions from our commoners out there. The messages that you guys want to delve into new deck ideas. We hear you. We want to talk about them too. This time I'm going to talk about an idea I came up with a few months back that D and I have been fine-tuning since. This deck is called Simic Advance. It uses free shield spheres and recurrence generating dream stalkers to abuse the evolve mechanic and quickly build one or two heavy hitters while cluttering your ground space with the walls and stalkers for defense. It uses trinket mages to grab extra walls or an artifact land of a needed color or any of the single mana casting cost toolbox cards in the deck or sideboard as needed. One of our viewers, Eli Grill, has some questions about what we consider when brewing new decks. They included, how fast should it be to keep up with the meta? What tricks do we use to maintain a deck's consistency? And how much interaction in a deck do you shoot for? As far as I'm concerned, brewing is the best part of magic. To that end, the first thing I like to think about is, what haven't I seen before? What can I do that's new? In this case, it was make at least one of the Simic mechanics actually viable in a constructed deck. I don't remember Graft or Evolve making much of a splash in the popper community, and I've always really liked the flavor of Simic. Graft is interesting, but I couldn't really come up with much so Evolve is what I focused on. At the time, I was getting crushed often by mono-black control, so I wanted to get a lot of creatures out fast to avoid Edict-style effects. And if I did that right, they should pump up my heavy hitters past the most common damage-style removal like Lightning Bolt and Disfigure. So I needed to put out a lot of big creatures fast, but big creatures are expensive. That's where Shield Sphere came in. It's a 0-6 wall for free. At first, I continued down this road and grabbed Ornithopters and Pyrexian Walkers, too. That didn't have enough teeth for the deck. Then I realized that the Dream Stalkers would allow me to recast the Spheres, which would further trip the Evolve mechanic and wipe any counters off the Spheres as well. Stalkers have that big butt, too. This, in a way, is my answer to Eli's question about consistency. I really aim for high synergy, so that any parts of the combo work with any other to a 1 plus 1 equals 3 effect. I try to avoid the hard combos because they're so easy to break, especially for blue. I want to have beneficial effects, even if my evolved creatures don't come up. For consistency, though, I went for 10 evolved creatures, too. The obvious choices for me were Cloudfin Raptor and Shamble Shark, so four of each of those. The last two were kind of up for grabs. The rest of the evolved creatures available in Popper, except for Crassus and Croc Urana, are not usable for this deck. Crassus has Trample, that's viable, but the Croc has Reach and a bigger butt, thus a better chance to pump the other two beaters. So I chose two crocs. If there was any other one or two casting cost evolved creature, I would have chosen that instead. How fast should a deck be to keep up with a meta? This is a complicated question. I think it depends on how you define fast. The need for common ground in which to discuss this is particularly necessary, since in a deck like Burn, speed is simply defined as the rate at which you deplete your opponent's life total. Yet with a deck such as Teachings, the rate is meaningless. Those piloting that deck want to take control of the game state in a way that builds card advantage and finally board advantage until they have their enemy in a strangle and can kill them at their leisure. So, let's use this general term. How fast does it implement its strategy? In my opinion, if you're not laying a solid foundation to your strategy by turn 3, and certainly by turn 4, you are likely to be far behind your opponent. I'm guessing here, but I bet about 70% of popper games are won by turn 7. If not, the fat lady is about to sing. How much interaction do you want on a particular list? I think this ties into consistency. Like I said earlier, I think multiple synergies between your cards are key. I want each card to be able to react with four others and my opponents, too. Here's a great example. Recently, D gave me a heads up on a card that might be able to solve an issue Simic Advance has with losing its heavy hitters, Alexi's Cloak. It's a blue and a colorless enchantment with flash that gives a creature its enchanting shroud. Excellent protection for my creatures, also a fantastic multi-counter spell against decks like Is It Blitz. Here's the original build of Simic Advance. Here is where Deluxikov's version stands as of today. And here is where my version stands as of today. Thanks to all of you for joining me on this first outing of Rogue's Corner. You've got it all planned out. Tonight is gonna be perfect. Until she gets a whiff of your bad breath. Yuck! Now, fix bad breath fast with Galvanic Blast. Our breath mints use only the rarest scent crystals, unearthed from certified Mirrodin mines. Don't trust those other mints, they'll leave you Hydro Blasted. For flavor that will last, choose Galvanic Blast. Dealing damage to bad breath longer than any mint legal on the Tin Street Market. For long-lasting flavor that is unsurpassed, choose Galvanic Blast Breath Mint. Feel the blast! Available at Morass's Market.
And we're back, everybody. If you can, if you got your computer in front of you, which is probably what you're doing, I would I would reason a guess. Uh, go on over to Facebook if you've got that. Give Popperpedia a look, see, and uh, give it a like. It's a great resource to. Uh, we are always using it ourselves to figure out what's going on and keep us up to date on things. So anyway, sorry for that long break. Man, I'm telling you guys, cold coffee and uh, Coke Zero, flat Coke Zero, pretty good stuff. I did a half and half mix at the break. Feeling good. Hopefully it'll help me uh, get this thing called a W here because we got trounced by slivers and then we lost a close one to UR Delver. And by close, I mean very. We were right there. I'm going to go over the deck list here because in the middle of the show, a lot of people are just joining us. We've got 21 lands. We've got one swamp, eight plains, eight forests, and four barrens. There's, uh, this, is, this needs all the speed we can get. We can enchant the hell out of them with this. We can go get them back with this. We can play this to go get this, and when this is dead, after we cycle it, we go get Oromancer to go bring it back, to bring this back, to draw cards, to maybe go find stuff like this or this, which is our big combo. Midnight Guard with Presence of the Gone. Infinite Tokens, we protect it with Bodyguard and two Benevolent Blessings, or Prismatic in the Yard, and everything else is kind of a catch-all best of uh, Popper in our sideboard. But so far, it has not been enough. Who knows? We shall see as we go into round number three. No, I did not mean to rhyme that. And I don't have a rhyme other than that. We are going to see, speaking of no more rhymes now, I mean it, and Peanuts, we are playing, uh, planning on going to a drive-in uh, thing here in uh, the big marina here in town, and they're showing the Princess Bride. So we're going to go out as a family on Friday night. So I'll have that story for you next week. This is a weird hand. I don't even know if I like it. We don't have our combo. We got two little critters and uh, kind of an off-kilter card. I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah. All right. Now we've got draw, we've got protection, and we've got half of our combo. So I'll keep this. We can get rid of... I guess we'll get rid of uh, this. Say done. And we'll just drop this and go. You know what? I'm going to get our mana just right. We'll cycle this for a black. Really confuse our opponents. And here we are. Unless they're watching. Watch out for our US's rodents of unusual size. You know, it'd be funny if they did a bit of a nostalgia like expansion on something like like that. Where who was it? Um, like Willow would be a good one. Obviously, the Lord of the Rings. There's there's lots of uh, oh man, I haven't seen this deck in ages. I believe this is the uh, graveyard heavy. Let's see. We're gonna play here. Really want that strands online sooner than later, but we're going to do this just for the draw. I want to keep this up here. We're going to draw this immediately. See if we can find one of our white creatures. We don't. Oh, you just don't like Willow because you like the Lord of the Rings, the book so much, and you're you're showing your uh, your uh, literary snobbery. <laughs> I know what you mean. It's like copy paste, but when you look at it just by itself, it's a it's a sweet little movie. You're all pigs. <laughs> I just watched it recently, so it's fresh on my mind. Well, go a little bit aggro here. We can at least start thinking and dunking him for two a turn. Deck's not quite showing up today. It'd be nice if we had an abundant growth s sweet spot there. We're able to uh, have a yard full of goods, but we'll see. That's right. Songs of the Damned. Uh-oh, here they go. It might be too late for us already. As we yield through the turn and we watch. I haven't seen this deck in months. This was all the rage when the combo was first shown and Everybody had their iteration of it. I know Chid 3 was one of the first designers of it. And then uh, Galeb Cannon had one that, you know, with his popular channel. But it's kind of been hidden since. But I believe if you counter Songs of the Damned or... Uh, we don't really have much of an engine against this. Might be our third loss. Do you think uh, Celeste Pac-Mate is popper playable? I'd have to see it in front of me. I don't know that one. I don't have that one memorized. Uh, TMO 6 Life. Maybe if one of our mods can bring it up, I'd appreciate it. Alrighty, 3-3. Three, three. No. I mean, you can play it. That's technically playable, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. As our opponent gets to 13. Swamp. 
If you want to measure any green card, put Wild Mongrel next to it. I know I've said this in the past, but if that card was printed right now, people would just be going crazy. That's a good green card. As we show people that might be new to this strategy, how it works. They're reaping the grave, getting back all their cyclers as we're going to just get niddled down to nothing life. This does do damage. And we could trip strands if we uh, had it because that, sl that slinger is doing it and they kind of go all in in one turn, but I don't think we're going to get another turn out of this. If we do, I'll just hold back, attack for two, and play the strands. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. If it's showing up in some 5-0 list, maybe I'm missing something, but 3G for a 3-3. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even see that it has foretell. Yeah, yeah, that's playable. I thought it was just a 3G for a 3-3. I didn't scroll. I thought that was extra text on the uh, from somebody else there. Sorry about that. Da -ba -bum. All right. Well, we're at 12 life. Soon to be zero. This couldn't be going worse so far. I promise you. This is a very solid list. We're just, we're just having some bad outs here. Double Thranith Stinger. Pretty cool when an opponent can beat you with one mana. We'll let, we'll let the show roll on. I'm the same way, Ken Barb. I've tried to play that thing like three or four times. I think I've won like one time with it, but it was um, it's a deck my son would like. <laughs> I always see too many alternate options instead of the uh, path to victory. There they go. It's a thing of beauty when it works, though. However, if we had that Prismatic Strand and we didn't play our Skyfisher, of course they might not have done it then, right? If they can kind of peter out, being that I think most of them only run like one swamp and maybe a forest or something. There's so many lists of that going around, but it's pretty pretty. And we're dead. Booyah. Yeah, this this was real popular about, gosh, a year and a half ago. So has it been that long? All right. Well, we're going to need some macabs here. Strand of Stinger, but that's about the only uh, tech that we've really got. We want all of our strands here. We don't really have to worry about the blessing at all. And uh, Bodyguard probably goes along that realm too. Other than just activations, we'll make room for the uh, macabre answer. Hopefully we can get a uh, prismatic online. I don't believe uh, Omen's going to be the, is needed as maybe just a flashback of a bodyguard. We're not He's not there for the protection. We're just uh, focusing on the other. However, we could... Uh, you know, when, they, when they drop their creature, that's it's just over. But I would like to have maybe two journeys in case maybe they pit her out and I don't want them to have to be able to restart it and play too defensively. We are a game down as it is. All right. Let's go like this. Boop. Sometimes the universe just doesn't want you to play certain strategies. I know. A lot of times there'll there'll, there'll just be something that I'm like, oh, I don't really like that, and it just the same list just draws horrible for me. Yeah. I know it's superstitious to say so, but ugh. And then we get hands like this. We'll mulligan this. We're playing 21 lands. All right, half our combos here, but we're all off color. We've got eight fixing spells here. This is really frustrating, I'm not going to lie. We've got to throw this back. And there we go. We'll keep this. Let's get rid of this and this. Done. All righty. We'll rock here, draw our card. Hopefully it's like Skyfisher. We can maybe find uh, a little bit of protection. We'll see. All right. We can always cast that. Probably a bad idea. I am new here. It says, oh, uh, us. 
Askiba24, I'm new here. Question, which card is better in a mono black deck for Popper, Evolving Wilds, or Ash Barons? Yeah, and mono black, what's the, uh, are you getting flooded and you just don't want to see them late? I would, yeah, I might lean on what Nichols says there, neither. All right, we've got an architect in the yard. Part of our combo is online. Feeling a bit naked here. Be nice to have a strands. We've got a macabre, so I can't just play narrator. Okay. Might want to just grab some Dranus out of the yard for the macabre. Don't think it's going to be worthy of doing much else. We're a bit weak to this strategy, but this you never see this one. All right, there's another one. Where's our golem? I mean, our uh, creature now, right? We've got the combo. Yeah, I'd go with that too, Dreamer Stingo. You can always play the Ash Barons, but in a deck like Mono Black, it's usually looking for uh, for the black mana. So, alrighty. There is, however, the, um, what was the one? I know the, the corrupt black decks use the, what is it, that little, it's it's not Expedition Map because that's been banned, but it's the little one that lets you go grab a land. Some mono black decks use that to put out a land uh, ahead of schedule. It's like Wayfarer's Ball. No, it's not that. Ah, forget what it is. You all know what I'm talking about. I played it a few months back. Well, that kind of blows. He's probably going to take Journey here. We don't have much of an answer. Hopefully he takes Gone in this scenario. Okay, he takes Gone. If he drops the uh, Stinger, I think we've got options. We can just Journey it, right? Unless he goes crazy right now. Cool. Well, at least we have something to do next turn. Maybe we'll see this thing fizzle out. I'll play this. I'm going to keep that plane back because I, if he's playing duress, I want him to try to use it again. And then he'll come up empty here. An extra land's not going to do us anything. and So now we have one mystery card. Not that one. It's not Renegade Map. It's an old one. I think it's from Darksteel. I know the art, but I can't think of the... Uh, yeah, if you look at like corrupt controls, like the ones that are like totally creatureless, and they, those run them a lot. That's just to just keep tricking out mana. Ba -ba nope, that ain't it. All right, we'll go get a swamp. Just to really confuse them, maybe we'll play the macabre. Hiya. Not the pendant. Is it Wayfarer's Bobble? Did I did I get it right? I thought that was the one that throws it on the bottom of the yard. Hold on a minute. Okay, he's getting three. Three gets him what now? Oh. Nope, it costs one mana. I think it's a uh, one or two to activate. In Put a basic into play, tapped or something. Might be con. Wayfarer's bubble. Could be, could be, could be. <sighs> okay, there's the stinger. I might need to use this depending on what this uh, next card is. Cycles that. All right. That's the one. I was right. Wayfarer's Bobble. I shouldn't doubt myself. I was thinking that was the one that caused zero that, that puts it on the bottom, but no, that's the one I was I was noting. 
like to cheat out extra swamps so that those corrupts and tendrils of corruptions can keep you alive. But without knowing the mono black list, those those have so many varying degrees of separation. It's uh, it's hard to tell. All right, that's uh, that's already happened though, I believe. So I'm kind of screwed here. Do this. Yeah. And then, um, I guess I get rid of the uh, other two. And hope he doesn't have anything else. He's got another song right behind this. Oh, that kind of blows. It's back. Two cyclers, life gainers. Songs is gonna fizzle. And I hope I draw a journey. Or something. Not that. Alright, let's do it here. Just draw. Ugh, what a jerk. <laughs> I'll play the land. Let's go. Man, oh man. Come on, deck. Who remembers the first popper deck they built? I do. I used a uh, palace guard with a protection from red suite when goblins was all a thing. I know the deck that got me into it was a white weenie list from... Um, this guy named uh, Some Old Guy. He's still online. I chat with him every once in a while. He's been at it longer than me. That's true, Dreamer Stango. Yeah. Umbrella Growth is there to just be cycled or to just draw a card in a pinch. Ugh, now that duress works. Dang it. Turning things on. I've got one Dranith healer in the, or that dinosaur. It's just going to beat us the old way. Cooper the Red with Kurt Ape Trichnologies. All right, I'll hold on to it. Hopefully we eat another duress. Man, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'll stand by this list till the uh, sun sets. It's, um, it's a damn good list. But we're just We're just having one of those days, but... It happens. And we're about due, right? We've had a bunch of 4-1 outings and been um, been smashing a lot. So it's about time we uh, trip up. I'm just mad it's on this because I'm, I'm really high on this deck right now. Even when it's drawn bad. Super pooper, that is true. But when they go back to back, it's a bit frustrating. Hopefully we're not being sniped and he's <laughs> timing his duresses. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't advertise that we're on Twitch <laughs> as the game is being there, but I don't know. I think you'd have to play a lot slower to be prepared for that kind of stuff or the lag. Who knows? Kurt Ape still sees play Toothmaker. I've, I'm kind of against the card usually. I think there's better options 90% of the time, but if you go low and strong and wide enough, you can, it, it, it has its place, that's for sure. There's quite a few swamps in this. Bad news for us. Come on, journey, or another commune. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, won't we'll play this, and I'll just keep drawing horribly. To their credit, they have duressed us. Nabbing a very timely commune with the gods there. I'm working on a Rakdos Burn Madness list. It seems to just barely lose every game. Very frustrating, says Super Pooper. Yeah, I think everybody's been there, too. You've got that list. Uh, I've got a, a Gruel list that's like that. It's it's right there. It's like, ah, oh, just those barely, barely missed games. But uh, as we lose here, we're going to get cycled to death and go down 0-3, guys. Well, it happened. 
I didn't think this deck was going to lose two games. They've lost three straight. So let that be a lesson to you, kids. I'm new to Popper and want to play Dilbert and can't afford Snuff Out. Which card should replace it? Oh, gosh. Gas Down is always a very good option. Um, or uh, Tragic Slip is a really good one. Uh, Priya Vista. There's also some um, on, uh, some outlets online where you can rent cards. I don't really know how that works. I think uh, NTGO Traders does it and uh, Goldfish does it where you can actually just get the cards if you want to play it for a weekend or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know if Snuff Out... I don't stay up to date on all the uh, prices of stuff, so... Come on, we need something good here. Thanks a lot, Ash Barons. All right, I'm just going to quit this one. We're going to lick our wounds and just go into another one. This is, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I love this list. I really encourage you to pick it up and try it. It's a damn fine magic list, but we're just having one of those things. I'm going to stop advertising here, just to stop the old uh, boogeyman uh, sort of, what do you call uh Superstition this probably has nothing to do with it, but here we go. 15 ticks. Holy cow. I doubt that. Wow. Yeah, because uh, the new Delver list, they're uh, playing, paying a lot for that. I might have to sell mine. It, that's only going to come down. Usually that thing is at around two to three on average, but it just shows you how many people are. Uh, it's flexible. You can answer those walls and all kinds of other things so <laughs> yeah that's about what i got them for shiraz there that was um mm -hmm. back in the rather rather than days <laughs> here we are okay we've got a life package not much else. I'm just going to keep this the way we're rolling today. Here we are. You have considered Bonner's Ornament in this list too. Help with the mana base and such. Might be right. Yeah, part of our combo. As a spring leaf drum shows up. All right. Well, let's attack here. We'll just play the air power here until Forest shows up and we can maybe get something online. Don't think our creatures are long for this world, given that we see a swamp across from us, but who knows? The drum mixes things up nicely. We'll return the planes and go from there. Lean on a little aggro here. Yeah, Popper's not so cheap anymore, depending on what you're getting. You get in early and don't sell. Zubera's! Well, the Soul Warden will go a long ways here. Might click here. But we might have to discard our whole hand if this thing plays like it usually does. Ba -ba -ba -da -bum. All right, let's do it again. I'm just going to try to win via air power here. Hopefully we can get online before. Before a turn, we can be gaining some life. Very strange hands. So Methonical and I built a version of this with uh, access to Faithless Looting, and Pyroblasts and such in the yard, but... Mana base pretty clunky in those builds. Of course, with his mind behind it, it ten tended to work, but... Well, he's obviously got some trick here. I'm just not even going to block. He, he wants that thing to die because he's holding on to, like, Undying Evil or something along those lines. So I'll wait for him to get a natural sack outlet and use his own mana for it. or gain in life. Boop. Here we are. Okay, clunky, clunky central. I don't think they have many uh, instant spells, so we'll come over for five and hope for the best. 
he played this deck for like I don't know six days straight. Uh, only had like one or two games yesterday, but had such good outings, and then <laughs> all three just pop, pop, pop. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And of course, my phone's blowing up for the first time in the week, which always happens on these days. I even scolded my brothers. I'm like, please don't call me on Saturday mornings. I was like, I've told you guys this like 30 times <laughs> over the last few years and get two texts this morning. And that was the, sec the second brother right there. Just like, hey, the problem of streaming on a weekend, right? All righty. Skyfishers have been answered with a 3-3. Three, three. We're gaining life, but we don't get deal with that mole drifter. It's going to be over quick. Yeah, Lotus Petal is one of those ones that fluctuates too. I know uh, actually that deck that we just lost to, uh, when that runs really hot, those Lotus Petals shoot up in price. I think those went up to like eight or nine bucks a piece when that deck debuted, and then four weeks later they're you know, three or four times left. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is. I just want to shut the screen and log off and. Rage quit here, guys. I'm not going to lie. This I, I'm going to just keep playing until I can showcase how good this can be. Down goes a skyfish. Strange to see red. I guess maybe they've got a one drop for that for just the Zubera. Who knows? Who knows? We really need green. Yeah, Prismatic got nice and reprinted there, so. Wow, Dreamer Stingo, I don't remember that, but you're probably right. Depending on the meta game, boy, Gorilla Shaman can really fluctuate. Now there's a lot more answers, but yeah, back in the day, that was one of the only answers. Bum, ba, dum. As we lose the majority of our hand, we'll probably want to lean on keeping Omen of the Dead here. And the unbridled growth, that'd be weird, huh? Gonna lose our team. And a lot of cards. Discard three cards. Good God. One, two, three. And here comes the rest of them. Will this be four cards? Bam! One, two, three. Where's our Aura Mancer now? Where are you? <laughs> Salt. <laughs> uh, yeah. And here we are. Taking obscenely bad breaks, bad beats. 21 lands, folks. I'm not understanding the math today. I didn't play this one or two games. I've played this all week. Josie Prevista, this is a Midnight Guard combo with the uh, uh, Presence of Gone in it. So, But like I said, I've, I've been winning a lot lately, so it's about time to pay the piper and crash and burn. <laughs> Just wish it was with a deck that I wasn't so happy with. It's a bad beat story. you got to believe it's got to... <laughs> Down comes some more. Thank God for the Soul Warden. It's the only reason we're still alive. I know that they're on some sort of a supernatural stamina or trick with the Mole Drifter. Now we can attack unless this is another Sprigly Drum. All right. It's going to make us discard it. Probably on upkeep. We shall see. And we could at least have, like, maybe Prismatic in the yard. Would that be too much to ask after discarding our whole hand? Thanks a lot, deck. 
I'll attack into this. They don't have black mana, so he wants to trade with the Mold Drifter. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I can sleep in. Oh, thank you for that. Subscribed with Prime. Helping me lick my wounds today. We got Wiki Bear coming up next. I think I'm going to do some push ups and jumping jacks, try to get my uh, mood right. Like I said, I've had bad beats on the show before. It's nothing new, but. When you're proud of a list and it's been showing up all week and then it does this live, you're just like, what the hell? Down it comes. I'm going to trip this up. What are we up against here? This is Vera. But I'll say this. We face slivers. You are sort of combo draw songs, and now Zubera's. So pretty varied metagame today. I want Evil Deluxe to come back and finish tuning a new MBC, says Nichols. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fond of uh, my ways of mono black control. It is usually the um, Chid 3's sort of uh, black burn or uh, going all in with Crypt Rats or Crypt Gift, those sorts of things. Here we go. We're going to be taking a bunch. Well, death is my boys. But I placed first with the uh, eight rat and also with uh, crypt gift, which used rats with uh, life gain and sweeps and kind of a. All right. If he uh, does the thing here, I'm just going to uh, <laughs> scoop. <laughs> we know he's got it. Here comes supernatural stamina, and we're just going to quit here. Are we? Aren't we? Let's see what we're going to do. Is it going to let us get down? Yeah, we'll be discarding our whole hand. I'll be getting a lot of stuff. All right. I'm just morbidly curious how far away something relevant was. Let me see. Watch, it won't even let me draw, probably. Drop. 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 Oh, or a Mancer could have brought back, but man, where is our green? Good lordy. Ugly, 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 ugly. Okay. Standard Bearer comes on in. Let's see him try to finish those off, right? Don't really need that. They're so colorful, it's not going to help too much on those. That end. I think we're just going to bring in Standard Bearer. I'll lose a one and one here. Prismatic, not that good against a deck that has so many colors in the uh, other ones. Let's see. Journey... Guess we could bring in. Let me bring in like two journeys for out of control stuff late. Let's hope for the best here, guys. I'm not too. Macabre's become online. Uh, that's a bit of a. What do you call uh, already losing? So I'm going to try to really focus on getting our combo and our mana right this game. And deep breath, everyone, or at least me. We will say yes. We'll open up our yard here. Okay, our mana's right. Our deck showed up a little bit. We can go look for stuff. We're probably going to get to rest right out of the gates, which we'll lose one of these. But we'll, we at least have this to stop uh, anything from getting in our Skyfisher's way. And, uh, we'll keep. Deep breath, says Cooper the Red. Thank you. <laughs> Good news. we got Wiki Bear coming up that here we are cool off we go with the planes all right I think I'll lead off with the standard bear here actually it might be better to go here let me do this just in case Let's go get some good tier. We've got a bodyguard. We've got Soul Warden, which really helped out last game. I think we're going to lean on Soul Warden here. Yep, we'll grab Soul Warden. Blessing not going to do too much good here. We do have the Aura Mancer to go get back Omen if we want to start turning on Skyfisher, but... Yeah, we don't mind if we get to rest here. That Blessing's not the greatest card against our opponent since they... Literally have every color under the sun and colorless. So we ran into what, two weeks ago, I think it was? 
Okay, let's do here and here. Even here, you know, need one extra white. Where, where, where was all this green last turn? Ah! Well, I could play the... Uh, let me do this a little out of order here. We'll play Skyfisher. We'll get back the plane. And we'll play our Soul Warden. Getting two white mana out of the play regardless. Here we are. So we'll probably call blue on that Benevolent Blessing so that Skyfish, or, I mean, uh, Mold Drifter can't get in our way, but that's a pretty far cry thinking we're going to be able to go that long. Ah, here we are. Yep. I might want to just keep back Benevolent Blessing. Here we got a white heavy draw and all green mana. Come on over, Zubera Fist. Okay, we like this. There's a plane that we need. Boop. I'm going to come on over. Oh, I haven't seen that, Nichols. Actually, there was somebody... Is that the one that uses a Seraph and all the um, Avisian scroll and things like that? I've, I've seen that. Surprisingly, it can get off to a pretty good start sometimes. Pretty cool stuff. Angel Tribe has gotten some love in the last half year. Indeed, indeed. So any new votes for our Tier 2 emoticons or 3? To see how those go. Let this on through. Turn off about 7 other cards with the Standard Bearer. They might even run the Cannonade, though. You never know. All right, well, we'll attack. I don't know of really any instants that they have. Take our openings as we get them. We do have Benevolent Blessing if they do have some sort of trick. I don't really want to use it on that, though. <laughs> what is this? So he's trying to kill that. I guess we'll just keep it alive. You know what, though? The problem with this, I think that was a misplay. It's black's what's keeping us in it. That was a misplay. That was just an auto knee jerk response because all of his uh, black spells, I mean, I might as well call it now. I can journey, I, I, can, I can skyfisher it back, but I probably should have let that go. We need flame tongue hot sauce emoji. Yes. <laughs> All righty. I was thinking of, you know, the commercials because that is kind of what sets us apart as being like the thing. But it'll be tough to see. We'll have to we'll have to check it out. Now, which direction should the flame be going for flame tongue hot sauce? But that's the thing. I don't know if I'll get in copyright issues because. You know, you have to see the flame tongue all tiny like that. And I guess we could try and see. We do add the flame to it. A <laughs> wiki bear emoji. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be a good one, too. Glad I asked you guys. I wish they made 10,000 wiki bears. Those are so cool. I'm glad standard bears dead after that play. Showing some uh, surprising variety of removal here for list. Okay, maybe they're drawing dead. Who knows? I think we're just going to play that guard and uh, hope for the best. We'll rock like this. I'll attack right into this, and that we want to get rid of their sacrifice outlet. I'm fine with that. I obviously vote for a sausage tree emote and a moon cheese baby one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would confuse the hell out of people that aren't like hardcore old school fans. <laughs> just what the doctor ordered here comes the real combo at this point i'm just throwing it out there playing aggro we're getting lots of life he wants to kill our standard bear that's cool i don't feel so bad now that that vicious offering was a little nearsighted on my part nonetheless true <laughs> yeah 
moon cheese baby. That would be creepy. Could just be the head, right? All right. Well, I got three to work on there. Yeah, it's it's a tricky business. Those uh, emojis. You gotta know your way around Photoshop pretty good. You have to build them three times, and then they have to fit into like a very, very strict uh, size guideline. Me, it's tough because you know I want everything to look pristine and awesome. And speaking of pristine and awesome. I don't mention them very much, but that show Game Nights on uh, YouTube, not like they need a plug. They're, they have like a gazillion viewers, but they have the new guy from, um, they have Hawk from the Cobra Kai series on. And dude's a hell of a magic player. And I have to admit, there's only one thing I don't like about Game Nights. They cut they they cut away too slowly. Like they'll somebody will say some cute line and then they just stare and it's just awkward. And then they cut and it's like, ah, oh, that's the only thing. Their, their graphics, their tempo, the, the, it's very, very, very watchable. That's one tiny little like director, director, director's note sort of thing. But um, yeah, I just, I was very tickled. I, it's rare that I watched like the whole show and I, I just sat there and enjoyed my lunch with my son and we watched the whole episode together. It was very cool. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just put the baby's head with the Rakdos eyes. Like anybody will be able to see it at that resolution, but who knows? Okay, we're going to be losing lots of our team here. So I'm going to drop the... Uh... Here we go. At least we're gaining life. That's our clock out. We'll say always yield. And down goes the life gainer. Down he goes again. It's a Gatling gun Zubera, folks. Game Nights editorial. Yeah. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, it's it's gorgeous. It's they they have a whole team of people like me over there and it shows. It's it's very well done. Very subtle things too, like when the card comes off of the play mat. You know, they have to go to the trouble of actually making a picture of the play map before any cards are on there so that it can animate on and off. And so you can do a little, it's called a mask element on that so that it looks like it's actually coming off the table and stuff and can't move the camera one millimeter or it'll show. So many little things. Mad respect to them. It's just a cut style that I'm not fond of. That's all. But that's just me. Down goes our team. Can we just top deck our combo, please? Our opponent's hellbent. Can we get a break? Come on. We haven't seen one yet. All right. I won't complain too hardcore about that. We'll bring Oromancer here. I should have attacked first, but all right. What shall we get? The Blessing? Probably the Blessing. The Bridal Growth? That's pretty cool. We could draw or the Blessing. Hmm. Oh, boy. That Omen of the Dead looks pretty good. We've got one Sky Fisher down. We've got two more coming up. This is a tough choice. I think we just go with the uh, Unbridled Growth here. I just want to draw cards. Yep. We'll do this to here. Play this. We'll attack. Presence of God, I wish. Wish it was in the yard. That would have been a nice little pull. In case they got duress, we'll stay out of this mess. No, Omen's not a bad call, but we don't have a way of grabbing it without things going really a, a right way there. So Midnight Guard showing up on double duty. And I'll wait to trip the Bridal Growth in case we draw. Did we? I think we have both Omens left in here. For There's a possibility. Now we won't need it. We'll cycle this. Now there's no reason for that growth to go get a Swamp. As we check. Oh, yeah, we still have one more Omen. I'll play this. I'll sack this. Come on, show us goods. Thanks a lot, deck. Here we go. Yeah, Oromancer, I've, I had Heliod's Pilgrim for a while 
um, obviously for the fetch ability, but um, in the end, the uh, omen with Skyfisher being able to get back uh, creatures, and then the Oromancer being able to get back stuff, because we're usually turning over a lot more cards with Commune and such, and things get countered when you're playing more metagame decks. We've seen a bunch of Rogue today, and we're drawing like a sewer, so don't take it out on the deck. All right, questions? Split might be nice. Yeah, I had it. I had it built with the split, the very first build. So, well, here's looking at you, kid. Uh, let's go like this. Can it work? Can we do it? Does he have it? All right. LW, we're going to game three. At least it's a wee bit competitive. About time gone. We're almost halfway through our deck there. We only run four of them and about five ways to getting it. Blessing was interesting. Skyfisher. I think we're good like this, guys. I'm going to go all in with the gone plan here. Got that Gatling gun play. I like to keep two of those out. I like having one of those. I think we'll just stay on one one strands here. Most of the time, aggro decks, I'm going to lean on more of these, but like I said, it's like attacking a rainbow. There's Lady Luck is furrowing her brow this Saturday. <laughs> Hell yeah, says Vikings leaving. All right. I gotta, gotta get some refills here. Come on, Nick. Let's go. Wow, 21 lands, and this is what we're left with. Mulligan. At least it's an easy choice. All right, we'll keep this. Actually, I actually think we're going to get rid of that. We'll see. Done. Just in the off chance that we're going to get screwed. Here we are. There's so many creatures in this list. I'm going to lead off with the growth here. Bodyguard's not going to get there in 20 turns. That might do something here. Might do some good. We'll trip it as soon as we can, out of fear of duress. The seer shows up. We've got a nice call and journey. Might be good to just pull the journey. You guys think I should pull the journey here? He's going to sack it in response. Might be nice to turn off the uh, sack outlet, though. Eh, I'm going to commune. Wow. Glad we missed this pile. Good grief. We've got plenty of lands. Nice we avoided that. Sometimes I love that about commune. Not sometimes, all the time, usually. Unless, I, I guess if we wanted to hit a third land drop and we were like, oh, come on! <laughs> could have could have gone that way. <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, it seems like I got lucky with the commune over that. I agree with you, Dreamer Stingo. That would have been a messy, messy hand. Yeah, I think we're going to drop the guard and then journey. Or journey and then drop the guard because they might go crazy. and Well, no, they wouldn't do that. They'd lose a token either way. All right, well, we've got an option there. Let me journey first. I'm going to take out that seer. Bye-bye, discard outlet. I mean, um, sacrifice outlet. Whatever the word is. Do they got it? At the second response? Yep. That's my idea, at least. Kind of my thinking. We'll bring out a sky fisher. Maybe it'll draw some removal, some hate. Who knows? What I do know is I don't want to see any more lands. That commune took out four of them. That's when it's frustrating. Wow! Thank you, just one random guy. Vastly appreciated, my friends. Yowza, look at all that. Not quite sure how all that works, but thank you. It's a paragraph of confusion, but I appreciate it. Hype! 
I should have played this entire, if I keep losing like this, I should have played like with a uh, anonymous, like one of these. <laughs> so I'd be like, that wasn't me. <laughs> have a little graphic ready and just, it'd be pretty hard to have that stay over my face. <laughs> All right, here we are. Let's go find some goods. Hiya. We have a sky fisher. We don't really need it. We've got up growth. We don't really need that. We like our soul wardens. Those have really proved uh, good. That Ash Barrens is dead now because of the uh, swamp being stuck. However, if we grab Sky Fisher, we've got air power, and we can keep reusing Abundant Growth. So I'm going to go with that route. I don't know. The Soul Warden really pays dividends when it works. But Sky Fisher is going to help us find the stuff. Hmm. I'm going to go Sky Fisher. I'm going to play this. Can I play it? I can't. All right, well, we'll attack. Sky Fisher, says Dreamer Stingo. Thank you, thank you, random guy. The stuff. Here we are. So thankfully, that journey can just stay put. And we'll try to reuse some good food off this abundant growth as we gain some abundance here. Boop, and we'll... Make a little mini draw engine. We've always got the uh, omen coming back for the soul warden. It's one of those forks in the road decisions, right? If that uh, dripping tongue Zubera goes off and he gets like 30 creatures, we're going to be crestfallen because we could have gained that much life and bought that many more turns. But I think they're drawing a little funky here. Maybe no discard outlet. Who knows? Or letting that through. I don't want any of their little... Plus 2-0 doesn't die shenanigans going crazy here. We'll keep things honest as we do this. Let's see what we get. Hey, there's part of our combo. Uh, let's do this. Anything else? Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll play black. We'll go get back our soul sister. Hiya! Come on back, lady. What's this? The deck's kind of working out of the, all of a sudden. I guess our, our deck didn't get the memo. I guess we could play this. We'll cycle this, Just thinning out our probabilities here. Go grab another one here. We'll play this. Boop. Now, if we get another sky fisher, we can start having some good times. Yeah, we'll do that. 12 minutes to 10. Game three. Maybe we can win out. Save a little. Save a little face. Speaking of face, check out this face. Like King Kong. Whoa. Man. All right. You whoop. Yeah, it helps a bit. Let's uh, play a bodyguard first. We can keep it alive double time. Tempting to just drop this presence and just start gaining a lot of life and blockers. There's always that option, but for right now, we'll just come on over for the sky fisher. And we can trip that omen, which I plan to, because I think our opponent's drawn a wee bit dead, and we've got enough mana to kind of go all in with a, a double play with double bodyguard. So, oh, little fight. Thank you for that, my friend. Sub to Nichols. It's just kind of like passing the ball to everybody. I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. All right, we're going to gain some life here. Hopefully, even though I'm licking my wounds and keeping you guys entertained. Let's see what we can do here. Tempting. Come on through. As we trip, black boop boop. And this is why we like Aura Mancer. We're able to get back Omen too, not just go find it. Soul Warden or draw? Uh, I think we're going to go Soul Warden here. Or I could just say none. I'm going to just say none. Yeah, I'm going to just say none on these. Bottom, bottom. Leave it up to the winds of chance. Whoop. Okay, cool. We can just go all the tackies, huh? 
Well, we could do that. Let's attack. We'll attack like this. Close matches are good TV. Good times. Uh, all right. <laughs> I could sack bodyguard to this, call black, get it back with omen, and then trip omen. That might be a pretty funny little play. <laughs> Should we do it? <laughs> Screw it. I'm getting impatient. We'll say... Well, I don't want to do that. I'll say... Uh, actually, I'll say red. Then I'll call back the omen. Bodyguard. It's mostly for the uh, draw, draw or scry two ability for the omen. It's kind of hoping for a more elegant combat trick than that, but <laughs> now that you can bounce journey. Oh, that's true. That be true. We'll rock here. Gain some life. We've got the protection suite online. That can't have helped that much. Sometimes I think that Dreamer's Tingle, but I tell you, every single time I do that, it gets either dealt with or the next draw is you-know-who. The Midnight God. There we go. Just want to keep, be able to keep our life total up enough. Not messing about. Let's go look for f two more cards, or two cards deeper. There we go. We'll say bottom... They'll say top. Might be waiting on a snuff out of their own, but we got double bodyguard and a standard bearer. So this might this might be it, folks. And I will just immediately equip it because uh, we're up against discard here. So normally I like to wait till I can really pull it off, but we'll see. Unless he's got some sort of weird green r removal. Flash in lignin or something. Who knows? It's a trap, says Go Brother Red. Did we finally get a W? Will Wiki Bear help us lick our wounds as we go into the last round? Tune in to find out, folks, on another adventure of Popoganda. Presence of Gond. Come on. What do we got? All right. Hey, it's a W. Gonna be. Go get some refills. Uh, please don't go anywhere. Enjoy Wiki Bear, and we'll be back for the last round right after this. I can answer any question you have. I'm Wiki Bear. Uh, here's a question. What was the second animated film produced by Pixar? Checking now. <laughs> Got it. That movie was A Bug's Life, released in 1998. I actually think that's correct. Yeah, that's, that's really great. Wow. Speaking of bugs, Chicago gangster Bugs Moran was the intended target of Al Capone's St. Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> where seven of Bugs' mob associates were brutally gunned down in a blood-soaked garage. I'm Wiki Bear. Wiki Bear, I don't think anybody wants to hear about uh, people getting gunned down in a garage. The hitmen were disguised as policemen, <laughs> which just goes to show you, kids, never trust a cop. No, yeah. no. That's, no, you should trust cops. That's terrible. That was one incident. Let's Capone just... died of syphilis. Oh, for God's sake, just... <laughs> Let's try another question. Uh, Wikibear, when was the Eiffel Tower built? The Eiffel Tower was erected just in time for the 1889 World's Fair and is now one of the most iconic sites in Paris. Okay, that is absolutely right. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Paris sites, are you familiar with the Candiru parasite? A tiny but horrifying blood-sucking fish that lives in the Amazon? It can travel along the human urine stream and straight into your penis. Yay! Why would you say yay after that? No one else to hear about a parasite going into your penis. Imagine a pain so intense you'd rather tear off your own genitals uh, and endure it one second longer. Okay. Right, Wiki Bear? No. Hey everybody, thank you so much to the people listed here. Your continued support means the world to me as we move forward, always inventing, always doing new things. It's just nice to have so many of you aboard. If you'd like to donate, please do so at the link next and we'll see you next time.
available at all fine Singer Superstores. And we're back with our little Hydro Blast Soda there. Okay, here we go. Let's go for it. Refreshed bladder set. Taste buds aflame. Octopus in the house. I'm not quite sure what that means, but now I know what my face means. A bullet. That's kind of how I feel today. Just, ah! <laughs> I did it out of excitement when I first made that back in, when did I first design the opening for propaganda? I think it was 2016. Coming up on our five year anniversary, little fight. That will be April 23rd. Uh, wouldn't that be funny? I don't have a calendar in front of me. Uh, I mean, I do, but I don't want to disturb the show. If that falls on a Saturday, that would be pretty weird. Yeah, that'll be five years of this propaganda nonsense. So thank you for all joining me. So uh, you know what? I think if we lose bad here, I'll play again. <laughs> it's a glutton for punishment. I just have to show you guys. I haven't really had that that uh, the second game, the very first game of the uh, first one. We had the combo just boom, boom, boom. And that's what I've, I've gotten used to. But the five-year anniversary will be celebrated with a full week Twitch stream. April 23rd is a Friday. Well, maybe we'll have to make an exception there. And no, we won't do 6 p.m. again out of uh, courtesy to Shiraz, who, gosh, what an amazing partner to have. What was that? 2 a.m. you were up, so. But harder to assemble. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a three-week, three-week streak. We'll do like Friday, Saturday, Sunday or something. Who knows? I better, better be quiet. Maybe I won't be up to that. But yeah, we'll probably do a Friday. Please no 2 a.m. stream again. No, Shiraz, we'll, we'll try to make it. Uh, actually, Shiraz, why don't, why don't you call the time for it? You've been with us since the beginning. So we'll uh, make it whatever's convenient for you on that Friday, and we'll just name it right here and now. So if you want to uh, let us know, watch. I'm like, <laughs> my wife will be like, oh, we're going on vacation that week. Or something. be like, oh, crap. So pending any sort of life issues like that, any time is good for me. Oh, come on now. Don't be modest. Don't be like that. So we're going to chill out and look at a deck list as opposed to this boring screen that gives me a little luminosity sunburn. <sighs> All right. So yeah, we've got the presence of the gong combo. If you're new to this, you put this on this and it makes infinite tokens. And sometimes you gain infinite life and sometimes you can protect it with this and this and this. And sometimes, how does this get there? Well, you go find it with this, which can turn over this and do all these other fun things and draw and get this back with the Sky Fisher, which gets this back, which gets this back, which you trip, and then, you know, you keep doing stuff. Hiya! I became Calendar Man. I know, I know what you mean. I think it was in my mid... I don't know, what would you say, Little Fight? We both were, were so similar that way. I was mid to late 30s... Um, not that I'm that much older now, but that's when I really started noticing, like, I don't like to stay up very late anymore. My my oldest has it. I mean, I heard him at 3 a.m. streaming. Um, I think he went to bed at about 4 this morning here. So he's, uh, and I was definitely like that as a youth, but I ain't of a youth persuasion anymore. That is for sure. So we've, uh, we've got the first W of the day versus Uberos. Hope that our opponent kind of Drew a little flat, probably, too. So here's a little fight. And here we go. we got triple draw and this. It's a bit awkward. Ain't going to lie. I think... You know what? No, I'm not going to keep this. We're just keeping it because our man is here. And we just got a draw engine. But I don't like this. We'll mulligan this. Yep. You were on the draw. We've got draw. And we've got this and this. I think I'll keep this, believe it or not. Uh, we'll throw back. Let's throw that back. Done. Hey, first time catching a live stream. Propaganda says Yog Moth's Bargain Bin. Nice. Good for chiming in. Thank you. It has been going much better. I won't lie. I think my uh, buddy and partner in crime here, Little Fight, is going to beat me with my own deck, Brute Squad. We've been having a Lick Your Wounds day. Of course, this is coming off of about two months of a lot of th thrashing and cashing sort of deck lists. This one's right up there. I just uh, it's it's running really bad today. We've only won one game, so very 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 frustrating. All right, here we go. How did the grind go last week? Oh, good. We uh, I think we went last couple of weeks. We've all gone four one, but boy, we're making up for it this week. So, but Ultra Corinne, thank you for that. Yeah, and we've got our own little custom emote today. So. 
kind of excited about that. That's new territory for me. That was a whole afternoon. I would design something and I'd make it like, oh yeah. And then when I would dumb it down, it was just hard to see. So I think little fight giving it to me with a with a, a much more aggro style build of uh, what I'm usually used to playing. Not not so much combo. I, I like combo though, especially when it's protected. We'll see if we can even survive against my own creation of Brute Squad. <laughs> Yog Moss Bargain Bin. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's like when we do, uh, I think it's our Nettle Sentinel Hand Cream uh, spoof. We have like Lido's House of Loot. Of course, our stalwarts of like Marasa's Market and uh, Singir Superstores. And uh, there's a few others, but yeah. If you've got any ideas like that, always send them in, propagandagmail.com. We love to hear them. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're drawn like crap again now we've been flooded for like three games now we're screwed but i did keep a one lander but it's because i can draw here but watch we're gonna get another okay cool at least we did that here we go double protection thank you deck for coming through for once today after a week straight of it playing awesomely only games if you don't believe me go over to a popper classic tuesdays and check out i ended up getting third in the deck had one sideboard change since then because I lost to Hexproof, so I put in a CLP green. Other than that, the list did well then. I tell you, yeah. Hmm. I could block and sack. Might be the good call here. Nah. We'll take four. Nimchimsky. Here we go. Well, whoever wanted to see us play Brute Squad, at least you're seeing Little Fight play it. Probably my favorite deck I've ever designed. But uh, on this side of the board, years back when challenges first started, was Rallygond. And uh, it won multiple challenges. I think it won the very first challenge and like the third one when they were a new thing. Wow. We really need a land here. Land? Thank you, deck. It's nice of you to show up. Okay, well, looks like we might win next turn. We're going to have to sacrifice some good stuff here. We'll be taking at least four. Here we are. Maybe there was some digital hump. The algorithm of Magic Online is like, here's a bunch of crappy draws. Oh, sorry, it's when you're streaming. Now we're back to regular draw. Derailed just one random guy. Now I want a King Hawaiian roll. <laughs> Thank you for chiming in. All right, here we are. We'll block here and here and here. We'll be taking four, depending on how he rolls here. We're going to protect that bodyguard. What on earth is that? <laughs> All right, well, the bodyguard shall stay alive, please. We'll say white. Boink. It's the chosen bun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> chosen one. I love me some Kung Pao enter the fist. Gotta tread carefully here. So we're going to take, all right. Not so bad. I'd really like to have a, a Soul Sister online, but I think we'll be able to survive here unless he just draws a ton of cards right now. One left. What's he got? I think equipping the husk onto the Ornithopter might be the play there. We shall see. We're at 11 life. Happy we're in the double digits. How cool would a uh, Soul Sister be right now? But we're going to laugh all the way. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's my fault. I swear I clicked gone. Well, that'll cost us a turn. <laughs> so typical of today. <laughs> Fool! I so deserve that Cooper the Red. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go, little fight. Hey, it is a Super Bowl tomorrow, right? We're just punting early. The kickoff was 11.13 uh, Pacific Standard Time, I tell you. <laughs> That opportunity is gone, distracted by the thought of King's Hawaiian bread. I love it. I love it. Uh, thank you for razzing me, guys. 
I do appreciate it. As we come on in, and we'll take six. Can I do that, or should I play a block here? Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's go like this. Um, I mean, we'll call white. So I'll block here and here, and I'll just call white. I'll take one, and hope I'm done with being dumb. White. Let's click slowly, deluxe man. Here we go. Bun count. <laughs> oh, I think it's higher than that, Popper Tim. I know my deck's punted about three times. Kung Pao was so good. Steve Odenkirk, yes. I don't know if I have Yogmoth's Bargain Bin. Uh, list them off, if you would. I probably have. Okay, I'm going to tap very slowly. There's still the option of uh, one, two, three, four, five. He could get in with, um, here we go. Infinite creatures. Anyway, we'll be able to take out those dudes. We're still a little worried about maybe a um, harsh sustenance to the face. I think Kung Pao was good as long as Betty was on screen. Or what's her name? The wee wee. <laughs> but other than that, I was a little. Uh, it gets a little cringy sometimes. But no, it is genius. And for back then, that was incredibly hard to do. He made the thumb parody movies, Thumb Wars, The Got Thumb. I haven't heard of those. Okay. I think we just win this turn, or next turn. Unless I. Punt again, right? Ah. Okay, here we are. All right, let's go to work. We will yield to this. Yield here. Tap abilities automatically. I don't know why that's I'm doing that. Give me a creature. Yield. Give me a creature. All right, this is the arthritis deck. Get my hand away from the yield turn button. So we're going to attempt to uh, just win on our uh, main phase here, or excuse me, attack phase. There's no prismatic in the yard, so our green guys will get through just by sheer volume. And maybe little fight will forget to attack, netting us a little bit more of a turn. Who knows? Let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? Is he quitting? That's usually the quit pause. I don't know why it always does that. It hiccups a bit. Okay. So I beat the first round of my own creation, Brute Squad. Make no mistake there either. It's a very formidable deck. Ha! Ah, Brute Squad. How shall I punish thee? Well... Don't really need a blessing, and Gorilla Shaman can be good. It's not backbreaker because of the way I built it. Unless he's building, playing the very first version. In that case, Gorilla Shaman can be devastating. Don't really think Scattershot Archer is necessary. Standard Bearer is a complete waste of time. Actually, it, unless he brings in um, Harsh Sustenance, like the second one. That's about the only reason uh, Standard Bearer would do any good there. And, you know, the Tooth. So you'd have to target that, but it's it's not worth the hiccup it causes, I don't think. So I think we're just good like this. Propaganda should have emoticon, just the propaganda logo. Yeah, and Chimsky, that was my first go, but I realized I like dark mode because I hate screen brightness. And then so I designed it that way, and then I'm like, wait, most people probably have just the generic white background. Then it was hard to see. And then I'm like, well, then what color do I choose? I'll probably go with like a pumpkin orange or something so that, it, you know, because everybody knows I love Halloween so much. Probably that standard bear background orange right there. Um, but yeah, it, we'll see. I really like the um, flame tongue and wiki bear. And, and we got plenty of ideas if, if, if we keep getting this much support and I'm able to keep making emoticons. That's, that's a very fun little side hobby. All right. Let's see. We got 60. Let's go. But um, 
I'm just a little worried about, you know, uh, has, well, here's a question for like Shiraz. Have you seen emoticons that have MTG like symbols or logos before? Because if you haven't, that's probably Twitch's way of like saying, nope, that one's not allowed. And I don't want to wait like four or five days for them to say like, you know, no on things like that. So, all righty. Well, we've got defense. We'll keep this hand. This hand's interesting because we can get back the growth with the Auromancer and have a blocker. So put a ring on it. Transparent background, contrasting outline with whichever color. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You choose one, it's the other. And I don't want the logo to be too adjusted. i got to remember what we've got a uh, Gorilla Shaman in this, so we've got to tread a little lightly here. Let me go get a plane. We'll turn on that Soul Warden immediately. Clicking very slowly. Should have won a turn sooner last game. Apologies, everyone. When you've taken as many licks as I have today, both uh, out of just the netherworld digitally, it's uh, easy to punt like that. What can one do with the channel points that Twitch is handing out? I'm not quite sure. I'm very ignorant of that. Poverty. I know you probably talked a little bit about this at some point, says Yogma Spargan Ben, but are there any comments from Kaldheim that you're interested in? I like the King Harold's one, and I like the Longboat, and uh, I think Raven's form. We'll see some sideboard play against, like maybe mirror matches of uh, Stormbound Geist and such. But um, and there's 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 that nice uh, hexproof one. I remember Green winning out. That seems to be. I think Green got three cards that were like we had a picture up on last week's show or something with our picks and stuff. And if you go to our community tab on YouTube as well as our Facebook page and scroll a little bit down, you'll see uh, our Kaldheim picks. One of my rewards is opening a chest. Interesting. Oh, okay. Dreamer Stango shown with the uh, the mana symbols. Interesting. Magic symbols do not include the mana symbols. Hmm. Well, we see some versions of them right there, but I guess, yeah, it's just a... Uh, hmm. Those are obvious what we're getting at, but interesting. Yeah, that longboat's pretty pretty vicious, especially with the uh, prismatic strands as we're looking at our opening hand here, right? You can modify the propaganda emote with channel points. Very cool. Ha! Ah, that would be pretty funny to build a sausage tree. I could just make the trunk of it a sausage, but would it even show up as a um, sausage tree? I mean, people would probably say like, oh, okay, somebody likes trees. <laughs> Like, you a eucalyptus fan? What's going on here? Alrighty, here we are. We'll play this, play this, and we'll throw this on here. And we're going to leave it alone for now because we've got Skyfisher. Ornamenta can bring it back. Um, for right now, in case I do draw the Shaman of the Gorilla Persuasion. Hey, any tips for playing Brute Squad? I'm finding it can be a little tricky to play correctly. Well, it depends on which build you're running. I think uh, Little Fight's on my original build here, which I don't recommend because it's a little easier to hate out. And uh, it has maybe 5% more explosive explosivity. I can't say that word. Um, but it really is uh, susceptible to uh, other damage or uh, strategies, you know, like our aforesaid Gorilla Shaman. Take a lot of time. Uh, to answer your question, take a lot of time on your opening hand and just stare at it. Don't don't ever just say keep or whatever. You really want to, um, there's a reason there's so many artifact creatures in it. And especially with my Survivor's Encampment slash uh, Holdout Settlement build, it's very paramount that you get get that online. Once it goes, it's it's like go, go gadget. Put them together, make it obvious what I said. <laughs> I got to head out. Thank you, Viking Sleeving. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Tough roll. Yes, indeed, it was. Here we are. Well, we've got just about what we need. This is a, uh, hmm. I guess I'm going to just commune here, because if we find you-know-who, we're good to go. Let's go. All right. Well, we didn't find it, but we found the bodyguard, which is just fine and all, because now we've got our protection suite, and we just turned on Prismatic into our yard. So if our opponent goes crazy, we'll be all right. Let's see. There's no uh, flash creatures. We've got a bodyguard if they've got some sort of trick, but I think he's playing my stock list. Yeah. 
Okay. But yeah, that opening the opening hand is incredibly because it's such an explosive deck. You just you can mulligan pretty aggressively with it. Here we go. Boy, he's really drawn dead there, isn't he? I'll just keep this around. I'm not going to use the strands on one germ token, even though it is hitting us for two a turn, but our soul warden's making a, making some nibblings. We'll keep that for maybe a skyfisher trick for a glint hawk, maybe. Speaking of that, oh, look at this. So we've got protection from everything here. Um, I'd rather that be in the yard. He doesn't have a way to really bounce that, so I'm going to call this on here. We'll just put it in our yard. We'll see. White. Yep. Here we go. Problem there. I mean, I could have done that in response, tripped this, and then he eats a germ, but that's like half a card, so it's a lot of cutesy plays that don't really result in much else. Okay. We've got our Skyfisher engine online. Don't have much else, though. Let me attack first. And go from here. Let's do Skyfisher. Okay. And we'll bring back the Unbridled Growth. And we'll play it. I have a weird feeling that the uh, Gorilla Shaman's next. I could tap it for red, sack it, and draw, and really gamble, but we're not going to do that. Here we go. All right. Presence of Gond. Well, this I will tempt the gods here. We're going to block... A tooth doesn't get him there. If he plays another tooth, we've got the strands in the yard. So kind of does he got the other one? Don't need to pay for it. Oh. This is curious what this could be. Maybe he has harsh sustenance and he's thinking he could have access to black, but you need a creature to do that. That's what I'm putting him on anyway. Let's see. Boink. Alrighty. Well, I can get back the uh, Oromancer here. So I just want to draw this. I mean, I can get back the uh, Unbridled Growth with Oromancer. Hey, look at that. Cool. We got the goods. We don't have a bodyguard, though. That kind of sucks. There, oh, he's got journeys and such. Uh, do, 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 do. We could bring back Oromancer to bring back the growth to play that to get. You know, what? I'm gonna play super safe here. Probably too safe. I'm gonna play Oromancer, grabbing growth. We'll get um, our bodyguard online. Seeing he might have uh, journeys. We have plenty of time, so it's our game to lose here. I kind of want to have a. a uh, Plus, we haven't really seen Oromancer do much here. I've got the alternate Oromancer, but it's hard to go wrong with Rebecca Gway, So, Yeah, seeing that we've already seen the ring, and I know um, a lot of my lists run three journeys and a ring. The deck's not shy on drawing cards. And, you know, given that we haven't seen many creatures, I think he's probably on a pretty removal-heavy suite. So it's kind of paramount to get um, Bodyguard online. The impatient person in me wants to do the other, but... Our sustenance can be treated with the prismatics, as I do believe that does damage. Okay, we'll see. Oh, that's our only option. Yes on that. Unbridled um, growth. I'm sorry about what I said about you earlier. Here we go. We'll leave that alone. We'll omen of the dead back that. If we draw a land, we can we can double go, but for right now, meaning that we can play the bodyguard and midnight guard, but woohoo! But because um, that deck's so explosive and he's kind of held out on a one husk play here, I think they're, he's probably just flooded with journeys and oblivion rings. I don't know how many his list runs. 
It's tough to keep all these lists together. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Yeah, it's tough for me to play patient. I, I'm aggro player at heart, but when you're playing combo, you gotta protect your babies. Hey, who needs it when you just draw it, right? Okay, thanks, bodyguard. Could have yet a show. There's a possibility he has another one, so maybe we should do that. I'm gonna go ultra safe, and then we'll do it next turn. Yeah? Let's go. Boop. And here we are. Play this out. Gain in life. We got time. We got all the time in the world. Yeah, <laughs> totally, man. I'm that way too, Yogmoth Bargain Bin. Most of the time it works out for me because I tend to play ag aggro decks, but some days the mana gods are just against you, and this is one of those days. But the last two rounds, and a little bit of that second round was uh, show showcasing the deck, how it usually plays, but highly recommend you sleeve it up. Maybe you want to change one of this for two of that, but try it as is because it's, um, no lie, it's a, it's a formidable little beast, and versions of it did plenty good. 500 aggro. What does that mean, Kaczynski? Ah! Oh, okay. Well, put them on the wrong things. We had the combo. We were just playing way too safe in hindsight, but it's easy to say that now. All right, guys. Well, 2-3. Pulled it off towards the end there. I'm going to go over the deck list here before we call it a day. But, um, yeah. I'm, whatever cred I've got over the years and stuff, promise you... The deck's a lot better than the 2-3 uh, price tag that has uh, been denoted today. So at 21 lands, we usually don't miss a drop, and we're not messing around with any sort of coming-to-play tap stuff. Um, we saw a few. We saw a flood. We saw some uh, screw. Normally, with the uh, unbridled growth package and abundant growth, we're able to draw plenty of cards and reset them with Skyfisher. And Omen can go get back. A lot of times, Skyfisher uh, grabbing Omen to play Omen to get back parts of the package that might slip through the pieces or maybe you communed a presence of gone away so you omen back an oromancer to get back this etc it can be a very fun deck to play it was very frustrating today i still had fun though and i'm very happy to have all of you here with me that being said we'll be back same time same place next week for propaganda as we go out on let's see what we've got here for you folks it is the avon rift watchers thanks everybody support each other have fun out there stay safe and we'll see you next week adios